Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com Well we're continuing on with our little theme of menu decoration here today and we've got our sort of block background when you hover on it the actual link turns white and the background is a block of the blue of my little uh, logo color there and when you click on a new page the new page is highlighted with the same color. Really easy to do. The technique we're using today will, will work with just about any theme. You've got to just change a few class names probably with different themes. I'm using the fantastic Divi theme here today. We're going to be writing some CSS but don't let that put you off. Any CSS I'll write I'll put down below this video and you're welcome to use it and manipulate it how you want. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the CSS that I wrote. And then I'll refresh the page and the menu should go back to the original state. Here we go. Well, I'm using Google Chrome today with a fantastic inspector tools. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if you want to use Chrome, it's absolutely free. So I'm just going to click on one of these links, right click and go to inspect to bring up the inspector. And I want to work on the actual list items themselves, top menu list item right here. Now what do I want to happen? Well, I'll just quickly give it a background color so we can see what we're working on. So there's the actual list item that we're working on there. I've just given it that color. We'll change that in a while just so we can see what we're doing here. Now I want that to stretch the whole of the width of the header here. At the moment it's just stretching down from there in a sort of tab version. We'll change that in a minute just so we can see what we're doing. And it's stretching halfway down to the bottom of our header here. I want it to be the full height of our header. So it looks like I've got to add some padding on the top. We'll jig this padding around in a little while. Let's say 35 pixels. Doesn't look quite enough. Let's do 40 pixels. You can select your number there and roll it up. What I'm trying to see is when that the actual links are right in the middle. That looks like it about there 40. Now it's pushed it down by 40 picks because we've done that. So we need to readjust it back up. So I'll do that with a bit of negative margin. So I'll say margin top. And I'll give it a negative value the same as what we pushed it down, which was 40 picks. So I'll say negative 40 pixels. There we go. That's looking a bit more like it. Fantastic. And I want those links to be right in the middle. At the moment we've got, looks like padding right of 22 picks. If I take that off, that kind of puts it in the middle. So we'll do padding top of 40 and we'll say 10 picks, zero picks for the bottom and 10 picks to the right. So we can rewrite this now just using one line of code instead of several. So I'm just going to write padding and this will look crazy until I put the other entries in. That's made it look crazy. That's 40 picks on top. Second entry is going to be for the right hand side. So that'll be 10 picks. Next entry is for the bottom. So I can just say zero and you see it's starting to shape up already. And last one is for the other side, which will be 10 pixels also. Great, well, that should do it for padding wise. But of course, we only want to see this. So we've got to force a bit there too. We only want to see this when we're hovering on it. So let's copy all of this from the hashtag of the CSS ID to the closing curly brackets copy or control C however you like to do it 
I'm in the custom CSS box with Divi. If you go to dashboard, down to Divi, theme options, I'm on the general tab, the first tab, and it's right down at the bottom of the page. You can also get to it via the theme customizer and also via appearance and then customize. So I'm going to paste all that in there and figure out what I do want and what I don't want. Okay, don't need the display because we're not changing that. Don't need the font size, we're not changing that. We do need the padding. Don't need those two we've crossed out. And we do need the margin. Now, I think I'm going to have to force this. Now, I don't want that background color un until we hover. And I'm going to change that color anyway. So I'm going to, we're overriding some styles here. So I'm going to use the important on there. I don't like to use it unless I have to, but we have to in this case. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. Control C, drop down a couple, paste it in below and create the hover state. So it's after list item. I'm going to put a colon, no space, and then no space again and the word hover. And that's when we want that background color in there. And we can get rid of the padding and the margin because they're not changing. So we don't need to have them in there. And we can get rid of our color from here. So let's just save that and see how we're doing here. Refresh this page. There we go. So that color is popping in just when we hover now, which is just exactly what we wanted. Fantastic. Great. So we want to, when it hovers, we want to change the actual link color which is going to be the A tag inside the top menu list item. If we go to one of these, here's our list item right here. And it's the A tag. We want to make that white when we're hovering over. And I want to change this to the correct blue as well. I've got a little color picker here. Free Chrome extension. I'm going to go onto the color that I want, that light blue. Let's copy it. Let's go back in and I'll change the blue to this correct blue now. It's a hexadecimal, so we need a hashtag and then the number. Great. Now I need to affect the anchor tag, so I'm going to copy this. Go down a couple. And again, I do want it to work on the hover, but I want a top menu list item A, anchor tag, which is the link and I want it to be white in color. So that'll be color. Hashtag FFF for white. Now again, I think I'll have to use the important because we're overriding the styles there. So let's just copy this one. And we'll paste him in there. Now I think I've got to make a little change there. I think that's going to kind of work. Let's refresh and have a look. Yeah, the link's changing, but it's kind of dull because it's not full opacity. So it's got a bit of transparency going on. I want mine fully white. And there's our current page and we'll deal with that one in a minute. I want mine fully white. So I've got to give it opacity one. And again, I'll have to force that opacity one and then important that should work now there we go that's a lot brighter Now, that's the blue one there. That's our current item. So if I select this one, it should give it a class of current menu item. Here we go. Current menu item. These are all classes along here. The one we want is that current, current menu item. If I double left click on there, I can select it and copy it. If we go back. 
Now I want to give it that background as well, and it's a class, so it must have a dot or a period in front of it. Then the class name, let's open and close some curly brackets. And in between, I want to give it that same background color that we've got here. Shouldn't have to override it because I don't think we're overriding any styles there, so we'll try it. We can always put the important in, don't want to even, unless I have to. And I want to make sure the link, the writing within it, is white. So I'll copy that again, and the actual link's the anchor tag within the current menu item. And I want to make sure that's got the color of white right here. And again, we'll do the opacity. In fact, we don't need to because we've already got it going on there. I don't think, but we'll see. Save this and see if that's worked out for us. Let's refresh the page. Yep, there's our current page, page right there. Now our other ones are working fine. Now if you wanted to slow that fade down a little bit, or speed it up if you wanted to, let's get our inspector out of the way. I think everything seems to be working now. Here's our hover state. I want our regular state. I'm going to slow it down um, to say three quarters of a second by using transition duration. This is actually works really well with uh, when you're using two different colors because you get a group of colors in between the color fade but we'll try it on this transition duration and let's say 0 0.75 seconds which would be three quarters of a second maybe too slow don't don't we'll see save the changes and let's see what we've got going on now Yeah, that's a more gradual fade in there. So I think we're all good to go. If we switch pages, our home page should now have that color on it. Yeah, there's our current page. All our links are working perfectly. So there you go. There's how to add a block background effect to a menu using the Divi theme. Like I say, this will work, the same method will work with any theme if you just inspect it and use the class names and add the colors you want using the custom CSS panel. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.